Yo guys, what's up? You know what time it is. Going to talk about John Cena versus Randy Orton um, at TLC in two weeks. Uh, I want to get my thoughts on this. Um, so uh, it was announced. That, well, actually, we kind of got a, a little sneak, uh, a sneak peek. Uh, well, at Survivor Series, the last pay per view, where uh, after uh, Randy uh, beat Big Show, Cena comes out and lists his World Heavyweight Title up in the air. Then the following night on Raw. Uh, John Cena um, challenged Randy Orton uh, for a title match, putting both belts on the line. A lot of people thought that, um, you know, since both belts would be uh, in a ladder match, a TLC match, hanging from the air, and that, um, and that most people thought that, and by really on Monday Night Raw, they really didn't say there was going to be a unification match. Um, that it left a plot hole that, um, you know, in the whole matchup where a lot of people thought that Orton and Cena would just end up swapping belts. Uh, Orton with the World Heavyweight, Cena with the WWE. Well, you can put all those speculations to rest because the match will be a unification match for both the WWE and the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, a few days ago, I think maybe that Tuesday or Wednesday, on WWE.com, uh, Triple H had an interview with uh, Michael Cole. You know, they always do these, you know, uh, these candid like interviews uh, with the corporation with Triple H. Ever since Triple H has been an on screen character as the COO. But anyway, um, in that video, um, Triple H um, mentioned that uh, he believes that since there's no longer a brand extension, that uh, there should only be one champion and that, uh, you know, by this being the WWE, that you know there should only be one one world champion to uh, represent the company as its as its champion. So he says this should be uh, so. Come TLC, um, we will have um, a unification match, uh, combining both belts to name one undisputed WWE champion. That is confirmed uh, right right off that. I mean right off that video. Um, some people think that. Um, it's too soon. We should do it at WrestleMania. I say get it the hell out of the way. Get it done now because honestly, I mean, if you look at it, I don't think too many people are really interested anyway that, that these belts are combining uh, in the first place just by it being Cena and Orton again facing off against each other. Um, and possibly Cena's going to win it. Um, I just say get it the hell out of the way um, because if you do it at WrestleMania, where is that going to leave the Royal Rumble winner? Yes, you could say, oh, they, he could, it could be a triple threat. But um, knowing what WWE and Vince himself has said, he's not a big fan of having triple threat matches as main events for WrestleMania. Hence, why we've only had three, I mean, two triple threat matches in history to main event WrestleMania, being at WrestleMania 20 and WrestleMania uh, 24. Um, so it's said that Vince is not fond of having triple threats at, at WrestleMania. Um, at least for the main event. That makes sense. I understand that. That's fine. Um, so, you know, when you take that into consideration, get it out of the way. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that they're combining both belts. I've been saying this for the past, I've been saying this for years. Get rid of the world title. It served its purpose. It makes sense that they do it now, not only because, one, there's no longer a brand extension, but also because, there's there's lack of star power under both brands on the main event scene. I mean, Orton is beating Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is doing things with Punk against the Wyatts. He's beating Big Show. Who else is in line? Cena has beaten Alberto De Rio. Who else is on the SmackDown brand that can step up and go against Cena? At least could be a legitimate threat. Nobody. So it makes sense that they combine both belts. Um, I've been saying that for years. Um, hopefully, we'll probably get a, a, a new WWE Championship. Um, if you guys remember, I said earlier this year when they unveiled the new uh, WWE title that was presented by The Rock, I'm like, they'll probably change it. And they just may do that because I don't see them rocking both belts. Um, so there's, def there's probably definitely another world title in the picture um, that they're going to be making soon. Um, but anyway, I just want to get my thoughts on this. Um, I think it's a good idea that, that they're combining both belts. Um, who I think is going to win? John Cena, probably. 
Uh, I would love Randy to get it, but um, 2013 has been seen as a big year for winning titles and, oh God, just, you know. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, I, I think it's a good idea they're combining both belts because I think having one world title, it makes the main event scene um, more solid because you have more players um, in the game playing, uh, you know, fighting for the, the, the main title. Instead, you have, like, you know, people split up on separate brands competing for the separate titles. And right now, WWE's roster is not very strong, especially in the main event scene where they can afford to do that. So by them combining into one belt, you'll have more. It'll be better to have. It'll be easier for you to mix in different people in the main event slot for that major title belt. Uh, I think creatively, that serves a good purpose there. So yeah, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment box below um, about this unification match. Who do you want to win? Are you interested? Not interested? I want to hear it in the box below. Subscribe. Peace.